I just picked up an old country Pecos smoker and today I'm gonna be cooking some pork country style ribs. So to cook these, I'm gonna loosely be following a recipe from Matt Pittman for Meat Church. And I say loosely because I'm gonna make these low calorie and keto friendly. And if you wanna check it out, I'll have a link to the Meat Church recipe in the description below. So let's get to it. Okay, so here are our country style ribs. So I actually picked these for my first cook because with the rising beef prices, it's like absolutely insane. So there was no way I was gonna choose a brisket and this was like the cheapest thing I could find at Costco. Also these country style ribs are just a pork shoulder that have been cut into strips. So there's a lot of intramuscular fat in here and it's gonna be great on a smoker. So that's another reason. So this is gonna be super easy. There is no need for any type of trimming, which is great so I don't cut my hands. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a binder on this. So I am going to use mustard just like Matt did in his recipe. So fun fact, I actually do not like mustard at all, but like everybody says, and I can attest to this because I've done it before, when you use mustard as a binder, at the end of it, you cannot taste it at all. So um, I'm cool with using it. Okay, binder is on. So for seasoning, I'm going to be using Me Church's Holy Voodoo. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this rub. And also when I was at the Academy, this was the only bottle left. So uh, the people of Middle Tennessee also agree that this stuff is amazing. So that's what I'm gonna use. And if you're interested in trying this, I will have a link in the pinned comment. So if you wanna try it, please do. But I will say that this does have a little bit of calories in it. It has uh, about five calories per quarter of a teaspoon. So, you know, per rib after you put all the rub on it, you're probably getting like 50 to 60 calories. So if you wanna keep this low calorie and keto friendly instead of the Holy Voodoo, you can use one part of a 50-50 blend of Lowry's and garlic salt with one part of pepper and one part of Swerve Brown sugar. And I'll make sure to put those ratios in the description. Okay, so these are ready for the pit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that fired up so we can throw these on. So I just filled up my chimney with some cowboy lump charcoal, got that lit and then put it down as the base in my firebox. So for wood, I'm just using a bag of kiln dried oak from B&B. Now, because I'm new to this whole offset thing, I have no idea where to get some quality seasoned wood. So if you guys have any suggestions on where I can find that, then let me know in the comments, especially if you live in Middle Tennessee. So I just waited until the pit came up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then went ahead and put the ribs on. And it'll take about an hour to an hour and a half just to get some color on these ribs and also to get them to an internal of 165 Fahrenheit. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the braising liquid. So in Matt's video, he actually used a lot of sweet nectars and a lot of sugary type things inside of his braising liquid. But again, this is a low calorie and keto recipe. So I'm gonna mix up this part quite a bit. So to this foil pan, I'm just adding in one cup of sugar-free barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's is actually my favorite barbecue sauce and I did not even know they made a sugar-free version. Someone in the comments of one of my video actually told me that they made it. And I gotta tell you, in terms of like store-bought, low-calorie, sugar-free, barbecue sauces, I think this is the best one. So if you wanna try this out, you can find this at Walmart and I think you can also buy it on Amazon. A half a cup of apple cider vinegar, four tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup, and three tablespoons of Swerve brown sugar. And now we just have to wait for the ribs. All right. Ooh. Okay, so it has been about 90 minutes now. And as you can see, our country style ribs have an absolutely gorgeous color to them. Yeah, this the smell of the smoke is just absolutely phenomenal. And as I get close to these ribs, you can just smell that nice, like almost like bacony, porky smell. So I'm gonna show you guys just uh, this big, thicky one back here. Yeah, as you can see, we're right about 165. So we are at our target temp. So that means that we are just about ready to drop these into the braise. So. Uh, just FYI, I have the braise. It was actually sitting in the fridge while these ribs were finishing up the cook. So I went ahead and just put it on top of the firebox to kind of get the sauce warmed up. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in. So I actually messed up. I was uh, talking a lot while I was uh, wrapping this thing up and I realized I did not record, but basically all I did was I put the ribs inside of this tin with the sauce and then I wrapped it up with foil, 
put a probe inside and I'm just waiting until the thick piece hits about 195, 200 degrees and then I'll know it's done. So with this being the first time that I'm ever cooking on an offset smoker, I've been having a lot of fun, but I also know that I have so much to learn. But yeah, I'm just really excited to do a lot more cooks on this offset. Okay, the ribs are up to temp, so it's time to pull them. Ugh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. So in Matt's video, he actually sauced these up and then put them back in the cooker, but unfortunately I am completely out of time. So I'm just gonna let these rest for a few minutes and then we'll give it a try and see how our first cook went. Okay, so let's give this a try. Let me just rip off a piece. Yeah, it just falls apart. Oh, let me get up. Yep, nice. Nice and juicy. Nice pinkness. You can see the smoke penetrated. All right, cheers. Mm. You can taste the smoke. Uh, the rub is like really good, sweet, a little bit of spiciness. Yeah, I would definitely make this again. So make sure to give this a try. And also, if you like keto recipes, then make sure to check out my Nashville hot smoked chicken recipe, which is on your screen right now.